WFNN. Headline News Update. Okay, folks, Larry Pesamento with the mid-afternoon update for TFNN. We've got a bifurcated market, as Basil would say. We've got the Dow Jones is down just a little bit. we got the Russell down just a little bit. NASDAQ up about 90 and the S&P up about 20. Markets have bounced back a little bit. I posted a chart here in the den showing you that the last 10 days in the Dow Jones Industrial Average has only be able to correct 32% of the low we made three and a half weeks ago, folks. That is an incredible number. The fact that it could do that, I mean, this is a little scary if you're short. And if you're tall, that's okay. But anyway, let's keep a close eye on that because if we close below that level, which is right at 34,400, I believe, in the Dow Jones, that would be a negative sign given the fact that the market had finally uh, given up. Remember, we hit some major support here in the S&P on Friday. At the 4462 level, that was a 78% retracement of the previous low swing. And so far, we've been able to rally up to about the 4508, I think, uh, the other day. And we're just in a little bit of a trading range in here. The Treasury bonds are actually rallying today for the first time in the last five days, which is not unusual because they were very, very oversold. And market's still in a bearish mode. And it's going to take a while before they can turn that around because that means interest rates are going to go lower, folks. And that doesn't look like it's going to be in the cards here anytime soon. Remember, we've had regularly low interest rates for the last 30 to you starting back in 86. And since that time, you know, rates have just been dropping and dropping. Of course, they've been rattling lately. But that's just because of the fact that, uh, you know, they've reached a major top a year and a half ago. And that's primarily what we're looking at. The gold market missed our target today. We were looking to hit 1933. We might hit there tomorrow, but it's rallied up about $11 from that level. But the big surprise from my point of view was the fact that, boy, we had an absolute beautiful buy signal in wheat today that turned out to be a very, very short-lived uh, eight-cent loss. And then, of course, we... We uh, reversed and uh, well, it didn't go short, but we, we stood aside because uh, that's all we wanted to risk on that was, uh, was $400. The euro worked out absolutely perfectly. I'm going to post a couple of charts in here for your perusal. Take a look. 877-927-6648.